well, what if we gave you, I don't know, 0.23 repeating, right? So here are the 2 and the 3 are repeating. Well, what, what fraction does this equal, right? So what fraction does this equal? And how can we prove it? Well, let's, let's re-examine our approach. So here, x is going to equal our decimal, equals 0.23 repeating. Now this time, we're going to multiply by 100 because our repeating pattern is two digits long, and that'll really help us. So here, multiplying this by 100, it moves over twice. We have 23, and remember there are more two threes repeating after that. And now our proof would just show almost the exact same structure. We have 100x minus x equals the same thing over here in number form, 23.23 .23 repeating, minus 0.23 repeating, so, you know, think of 100x minus x. What's that in terms of algebra? That's 99x, right? And what's 23.23 .23 repeating minus 0.23 repeating? Well, when you subtract the 0.23 repeating, that whole repeating section disappears. And all that's left is the 23, the whole numbers section. You want to know what x equals? Divide by 99. And these 99s cancel out, and then we have our answer x equals 23 over 99. And I encourage you to enter this into a calculator. It's nice to see that it works, right? 23 over 99, divide it, and you will get this decimal. It's true, these are equivalent. So here we start with x equals 0.23 repeating, and finish that it equals 23 over 99, and therefore that those frac that fraction decimal uh, are equivalent. And let's try one more basic example, then we'll try a trickier one.